Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Uh -huh. Gains. It's always my S. Guys, in this video, I want to share some analysis uh, with you on Bitcoin, show you what I see in the charts, uh, just kind of give you a short term perspective and a view on the market and a long term perspective of where we're going. If it's sounding interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Uh, let's dive into this. And remember, it's not financial advice, so do your further research before you invest your money. Uh, this is still yet to play out. This is the bearish divergence, which I spoke about in my last video. For those that are new, a bearish divergence is where you see price action go up and then the indicator or this one, which is the RSI is coming down. That means it's getting exhausted. There's not much buy power coming in. And we're seeing this on Bitcoin. Now seriously pay attention because at some point it's very likely that Bitcoin could roll over and start to come down and test this line again. I don't know how low it's going to go, but I would assume that something like this may happen before the price bounces off it and then starts to come back up again. Uh, whether it looks exactly like that, I don't know. But this is something that I would be looking for in the Bitcoin price to happen should it occur. <coughs> should it occur. And, you know, you can see here, so uh, on the RSI, which is this blue one here, uh, we've come down uh, a below this yellow line. And it looks like this yellow line that's curving around may work as like a tiny little resistance for the RSI. I was trying to find instances as to what, you know, the last time we saw something like this where, you know, let me zoom out a bit, where we broke above this yellow line, because there's not been many times where we've had this massive break above this yellow line. You know, if you look here, throughout the whole year, we've been below it this whole time. So this is sort of like a, a, a serious moment. Bang, it breaks above it. What can it do after that? And I'm, I've been trying to find something similar to this in the past to see if we can resemble it to what's been going on now, right? And there were a few instances. So obviously the last time we broke it, let me just get rid of this circle, uh, would have been around here. So, you know, we broke above. We have this sort of pattern up here. The prices fall down and we go, you know, flying again. Then I thought to myself, could we be experiencing something like this little area here? Uh, so, you know, I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. But, you know, let's just quickly go through. So where else did we break? Uh, we broke here when we had a, 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 you know, move flying upwards like this. So this is something else that could be similar. Uh, and what else have we got? Uh, just go back to 2017. No, what is it? 2014, 2015's top. Uh, so when we broke out. So you can see we broke out here, we had a crazy run up and then came back down. In most instances, when we do break above this yellow line, we do end up coming back down. And then, you know, and then I'm thinking about this, like, you know, we've came below, we broke out here. You see, we broke out here back in 2015 cycle. Uh, is it 2015? Yeah, we came up and then we came back to test this yellow line. So... Uh, and then again, you can compare it with the RSI here, right? Look, look take a look at when uh, I just really zoom in on this bit here because it is quite important. Um, so when we saw red candles come down, look at this uh, RSI. So we broke above the yellow line and then we once we got up here, we, we came below this yellow line and then we kind of held it as resistance and it came all the way down. Let me just get rid of this circle here uh, so you can really pay attention to what I'm on about. Uh, actually, if anything, I'll draw another circle so you can see uh, an eclipse. I'm talking about this whole area here, all on this RSI. So uh, we break down and then it just kind of uses it as resistance all the way down. And as it does that, look at what's going on with the price as well. We're, use, we're just going to see low, high and keep coming down. And, you know, it actually came back below the yellow line and tested down here for another low. So I want you to, uh, you know, take this into consideration because this could also bring down the prices of altcoins. Altcoins have been going crazy. And you have to remember, Altcoins can't keep going up forever, okay? At some point, it has to have a cool off like a breather. Let's have a quick look at the fear and greed. We're at uh, greed right now. Will we go into extreme greed? I don't know, but usually when it's in extreme greed, that's the time to be, that's when smart money's taking profits, okay? So we're in greed right now. Haven't seen greed in a long time. Uh, people are getting greedy. Uh, when it's extreme greed is when people, smart money take profits. Uh, and when it's an extreme fear, which last month it was an extreme fear, that's the time you want to be buying. That was the time I was telling my patrons to buy crazy. That's when we was buying like the Singularity and the AGI, uh, AGIX and all these coins and it pumped and went absolutely crazy. So these are the things I want you to pay attention to. Let's just quickly touch back on this, right? Because I said to you, oh, hold on, let me forward it a bit. Bloody uh, thing, come up. 
I said to you, this could be something similar to what we've experienced before. And I'm, I'm thinking, would it fall down? Would it bounce off this yellow line and start going up again? Take a look at this. I, I opened it up on another chart. Uh, is it my index one? I think it's this one. Yeah. So I've got two instances. I think this one was the 2018's uh, end of the cycle, where, where it's uh, end of the uh, bear market, where it shot up. So in the same instance, I, and again, I'll just quickly show you. I'll zoom out, right? Just real quick, because I want to show you. I'm thinking this one here, where it finally broke this yellow line. It shot up. And that's what we're seeing, this instance, where it went vroom, and it came up again vroom, and it went up again right so that's what this yellow one represents because i do have another one you can see it underneath there but i just want to touch on it real quick because are we seeing something similar to this if we are it still speaks of a pullback it still speaks of uh, a drop coming down and you know i'm just again i can't confirm that this is going to happen not financial facts. i'm just showing you this still speaks of it coming down to about 20k before it starts to pump back up and then go crazy again so that one's a 20k one uh and then i obviously had uh, the one before which shows during a uh, a bull cycle uh, and I, again i'll zoom out and show you again just real quick this one here right this area right here could we see something similar to that well i've got that one right here let me pull it up because I just want to show you how similar this these plays look. Like, the, uh, would you consider them as uh, fractal patterns? I don't know, but this this is what I'm thinking. Is it going to be something similar to one of these? Uh, how do I stretch this in? I want to just bring it in ever so slightly, uh, just like this. Could we be experiencing something like this? I want you guys to tell me in the comments what do you think? Because if this happens. This scenario shows us breaking back below the yellow line. So, you know, we price is step here a bit longer, then vroom, just come straight down to like 18.5. So that's another scenario that could be serious and could play out. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you real quick. Um, so, you know, I'm keeping, oh, I'm keeping an eye on these two things. Let me see if I can go back and just, I know it's going to be a bit crazy. I wanted to keep that yellow one because I had it and I just got rid of it, deleted it like an idiot. Uh, hold on, let me just find it where is it where's that yellow there we go <laughs> i'm just trying to find this i just couldn't want to do it all again so you know that's that and as you can see here real quick i'll touch on it i drew this massive falling wedge months ago i can't remember which video it was but you can check back this falling wedge pretty much has played out so far to the t because if you look we finally broke this falling this falling wedge rising wedge falling wedge yeah and it's a bullish sign so you know right from here Bitcoin had been bouncing in between this and that just broke out. Usually what happens, you want a confirmation, which means uh, the price comes back down to test the falling wedge, right? And again, all speaks of prices coming back down. Test the falling wedge and then it bounces off it and then it goes flying. So it all makes sense to what we're seeing right here in the stochast uh, in the RSI, which, you know, we've got so much room to come down here now. You know, it's been going crazy. We might see a short time sell off uh, to just pay attention to that, because if you are in altcoins, again, now could be a good time to maybe take some profits before we see that. Um, but in saying that, the, uh, the stochastic RSI, which is price uh, momentum, uh, you know, is it buying? Is it selling? I don't know. Can this stay down here for a long time? You can see it's exhausted now because it's not the exhaustion of the sell uh, short term. But then that could stay down there long term as well. It's, it's, it's an interesting one because uh, the RSI and stochastic RSI, they tell different stories. Uh, one tells obviously overbought, oversold. One talks about momentum, how much power is in the buy and the sell. So I'm watching that. Let me just switch it to the monthly time frame. I'm going to go back on my other chart so it look, doesn't look so messy because I like to keep it clean and simple. So for those that haven't been uh, uh, watching my channel, this was uh, these blue lines represent when the halving happened for crypto, uh, for Bitcoin. Halving. I say halve because I'm UK, not have. US, halving. 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 Half, half, darling. Half. Uh, and every, every time you see the blue line is when the halving happens, right? Which means uh, Bitcoin supply is going to be harder to mint because it shrinks by half and then the miners only get half the rewards, right? Uh, and this is, every time we've seen that is when we've gone crazy parabolic. You can see, as soon as it happened, prices went crazy. Uh, let me just show you again. And right here, prices went crazy. Why am I saying this? Because many analysts believe that once we get to this halving point, uh, halving point uh, prices are going to go crazy. Shoot up, right? So, and then you can use this RSI down here to help us look at when we've had 
you know the, the depths of the mark bear market and the tops of the bull cycles every time we've been at the tops of the bull cycles you see the peaks right here i'm going to draw a white line we the the rsi is shot up sharp right up here we've always had these sharp points like this and notice how the tops of this blue rsi line matches at the tops of the bull cycles and you can see here right look uh so we go right back to this one here look the top of the cycle we had a double top one here came up again well we had two tops uh top here and then look at the rsi here match it up with here top of the bull cycle in 2018 if you was watching this in 2018 you would have played this market like a boss you would have known exactly when to sell because you'd have been watching this signal this simple indicator and you would have sold at the top like a boss uh and same goes for here look at this like right right look at this right uh look this was the rsi look at where it topped out right here many people believed that this was not the top but when you look at all the indicators and stuff this signals that it was the top we came for a second top which yeah the prices was higher but look at the exhaustion the the, the rsi was forming a massive bearish divergence funny enough similar to what we're seeing now on a smaller time frame right look at it came below this yellow line couldn't break above this yellow line and what happened we saw a massive sell-off which is what you saw there again very similar to what we're seeing on the daily time frame look you see it so yeah we've had higher prices come oh let me just uh, zoom this in again real quick so yeah we had higher prices for bitcoin like here we went right up and then up again but the rsi is telling us a different story it's exhausted and it's coming down so pay attention because we might this red line i've drawn <laughs> we might see it play out but again that's not financial advice i can't confirm it. i just want to show you what i see uh if something crazy happens and you know this rsi all of a sudden goes and it comes higher than this and it forms another high then obviously we'll talk about it then when it happens uh but as it stands this is what's uh sorry this is what's showing in the charts uh, i want to flip it back to the monthly time frame to make sure i've covered my points on this so but overall we're looking bullish we're we are looking like we could be seeing the starts of a bull cycle uh what do we want to sorry i'm getting all these bloody things what do we want to see right so if you look in the past real quick i want i'll touch on it real quick uh the rsis let me just bring this up sorry i want to bring this uh yellow uh, thing up so you can see it's not working this here we go so i've been i put circles here based on the crosses that happened in the past on the other side when when the blue line crossed with the yellow line right because every time we saw that that resembled the bull cycle right so we see the blue line cross the yellow line here and that's when the blue line goes crazy it stays above this yellow line you see on the rsi and prices go absolutely crazy all right and same here look so sorry i'm trying to so this area here we broke the yellow line with the blue line look the blue line whoop, breaks it prices go a bit above it and then we see this whole rally upwards and same thing what could happen here that we're about to test this yellow line are we going to break the yellow line if we break the yellow line then yeah bitcoin could very well have another little rally or will it roll over and come down and you know stay below this yellow line because this is going to be a test right here should it break it and also i'm looking at this as well the stochastic rsi because it's very similar and if you see right every time we saw the blue line and the red line come up into this sort of blue zone that's that sparks buy power there's a lot of buy, uh, buy power kicking in so we will know by end of february if this is gonna you know if this one here is gonna continue to go upwards like this uh, hopefully it does you see here and then price starts to move up same with this uh, yellow circle here look the blue line and the red line come into this zone here and you can see what happens uh prices start to go up as it happens at that time so this is what we're waiting for is the blue line and the red line going to come into this zone here and are we going to see bitcoin's price start coming up 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 so that's your long-term perspective because it's on a monthly time frame which means it might take a couple of months to show guys i'm gonna leave it here if this was helpful to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching thank you for watching uh become a patreon i have seven tiers let me find i haven't got it up uh, i recommend my exclusive vip partner tier because it unlocks all my posts uh, all these different tiers you take your pick i uh, this one here you can see when i'm buying when i'm selling when i'm staking all of this stuff it's my most popular that's the one that people are going for i recommend you go for it it's very helpful if you can afford it if you've got the money go for my ceo tier it gives you my super alerts 
this is where magic happens you get to uh, have access to my vip telegram group and by the way i'm going to be doing a massive thousand dollar giveaway uh in my live streams when i reach this 100k so when i get 100k let me find my, my channel when i get 100k uh make sure you are in the live stream okay like, i'm not far off we're getting there we're so close bloody hell uh <laughs> just shocked my life um uh, because in the live streams, I'm going to be giving away $1,000 worth of my uh, super alert tier for a whole month. You guys will get to experience what it's like dealing with big players in this game and how they make how they make serious money. Kind of get it out. Uh, so, you know, don't miss out on that. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. And if you want, hit me up on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and stuff. And then, yeah, just show you uh, the opportunity that you can have in this uh, CEO group. So... Yeah, don't miss out. Guys, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Let me find it here. Cheers.